<laughs> Please like, share and subscribe our channel to learn and enjoy our free online educational videos from class nursery to 10. Please click the bell icon to get all new updated videos. Food. Where does it come from? Importance of food. Food helps us to grow. Food provides us energy for doing various activities. Food protects us from diseases and regulates our body functions. Variety in food. India is a vast country with great diversity. People living in different parts of the country eat different types of food according to their habits, lifestyle, taste and food availability. Factopedia Staple ingredients of Indian cuisine like potato, tomato and chili do not have Indian origin. They were brought to India by the Portuguese. Food habits of animals All creatures have different habits of getting and eating food. On the basis of the type of food a person eats, he can be vegetarian or non-vegetarian. Similarly, on the basis of food habits, animals can be divided as herbivores. Animals which eat plants and other plant products are called herbivores such as cow, sheep, etc. Front teeth of herbivorous animals are cutting teeth. Carnivores Animals which eat the flesh of other animals are called carnivores such as lion, tiger, etc. Carnivorous animals catch their prey by their strong and sharp teeth or claws and break and tear it. Omnivores The animals which depend on both plants and other animals for their food are called omnivores such as human beings, crow, etc. Insectivores The animals which eat only moths and insects are called insectivores such as frog, lizard, etc. Parasites The animals which live on or inside the body of other creatures and suck blood or digested food, liquid food, from them are called parasites such as mosquito, bug, etc. Sources of food we get food mainly from two sources, plants and animals. Plants as sources of food. Different parts of plants are used as food. Fruits, vegetables, pulses and cereals are obtained from different parts of plants. Food producing plants. Cereals, pulses, vegetables and fruits are obtained from these plants. Factopedia. Brown rice is another variety of rice that is rich in the vitamin B group, particularly thiamine, riboflavin, niacin and minerals like iron, potassium, phosphorus and magnesium. Sugar producing plants. Sugarcane and beetroot are sugar producing plants. Oil producing plants. Groundnut, mustard, Soya bean, etc., are oil producing plants. Beverage producing plants. Coffee and tea are commonly used beverages obtained from plants. Factopedia. Brazil produces 40% of the world's coffee, which is twice as much as and second and third placeholders. Colombia and Vietnam. Plants, parts as food. Roots. Carrot, radish, beetroot, etc. are roots of plants that are eaten as food. Stems Sugarcane, potato, onion, etc. are stems of plants that are eaten as food. Leaves Spinach, coriander, cabbage, tea, etc. are leaves of plants that are eaten as food. Flowers Cauliflower Broccoli, etc., are flowers of plants that are eaten as food. Seeds Edible seeds include cereals like wheat, rice, etc., pulses like moong, arhar, etc., spices like cumin seeds, cardamom, etc., oil seeds such as mustard, sunflower seeds, etc., 
buds buds like cloves are used as spices they are also used in medicines fruits mango orange brinjal tomato etc are fruits of plants bark and latex cinnamon is the bark of the tree and asafoetida hing is the latex of the tree upgraded info saffron is one of the most expensive spices in the world this is because the vibrant thread like spice has to be harvested by hands saffron comes from the stigma of the crocus satifus and each crocus contains only 3 to 5 stigmas this means a hundred flowers are needed to produce only 1 gram of saffron but due to its strong tangerine hue only a few strands are needed to infuse a dish with intense flavor animals as sources of food we get a variety of food items from animals also some of the food items we get from animals are as milk we get milk from buffaloes cows and goats in some parts of our country milk obtained from camel and sheep is also used eggs we get eggs from hens and ducks the egg shell is made up of calcium carbonate honey honey bees collect nectar from flowers and prepare honey they keep it in their beehive it is a good source of nutrients and is also used in making medicines meat goat pig chicken and sheep are used as food sources of animal proteins other than goat sheep and poultry meat a major source of animal protein is fish how food comes to us farmers grow wheat in their fields when the wheat crop ripens they harvest it some of them sell it to traders or flour mills from the mills the ground wheat is transported to shops shopkeeper gets their supplies from wholesalers fruits and vegetables are transported directly to wholesale markets since they do not have to be processed in mills sugarcane and oil seeds like mustard and groundnut are transported directly to sugar mills and oil mills respectively Fishermen catch fish from the rivers, ponds, lakes and seas. The fish caught by fishermen are brought to wholesale market from where retailers get their supplies. Cooking. Cooking is a process by which raw food items can be made more delicious and easy to eat. Cooking involves many processes like boiling, frying, roasting, baking, steaming and grilling. Sometimes combination of some of these are used to prepare a dish. Cooking has many advantages. Some of them are as follows. Cooking of food removes all the germs contained in raw food items. Cooking adds taste and flavor to food. Cooking can provide various tastes to a single food item. Food preservation. We need to store cereals and pulses for long time. It is therefore important to adopt a technique by which food items can be prevented from getting spoiled. The technique used for this purpose is called food preservation. Food preservation helps in increasing the life of food, making seasonal food available throughout the year, decreasing the wastage of food, importing and exporting food from long distances.